My bump is so big it doesn't even fit in the frame. <laughs> Okay, I'm like breathless already because we have so much to unpack in this video. I spent last night planning everything I wanted to talk about today because as you could tell by the title of this video, I am telling you my newborn essentials, but also things I wish I knew as a first time mum. Now disclaimer, of course, there are really no newborn essentials. All a newborn needs is love. What's like that classic, what's like shelter, food, milk, like we know this, okay? So like when we say essentials, I'm saying it in a YouTube sense. Like what things made my life so much easier with Fox and what I'm changing and just like things I think as a first time mom, you'll want in your house. So let's start with number one, one of the most important things, where is your baby going to sleep? So for this baby, I did actually get a new bassinet. I picked a co-sleeper this time. This is called the Snuzzpod 4. I watched every single review on this before I bought it. I was out of the Snuzzpod 4, a bed nest, and the Il Tuto Bambini Cozy. I don't know. But this is the one I ended up picking. What I had with Fox was a Moses basket like this. The thing I didn't enjoy about the Moses basket was I had an episiotomy. I was in a lot of discomfort for honestly like nine weeks. Sitting up and feeding my baby was just like super super painful, just sitting on my scar was not enjoyable. My Moses basket had these big handles and I hated having to sit up, reach over, pick up my baby, like it actually is a lot of ab work. So just like leaning over and picking up like a three kilo baby and bringing it over is a lot of core work. So for this baby, I really wanted a co-sleeper. From my research, I believe this one is SID safe and it's all approved, but I really wanted the ability to just scoop him up and I can feed on the side, like, oh. That is the dream, that is the dream. It can rock, you can have it on a little incline if they have bad reflux. I just really like this one. Comment below if you want a full review, but this is the bassinet I picked. Oh, I love this tip. Like, is that vain to say that I love my own tip? I just feel like if you're a first time mom, this is actually a really helpful video. You want to get a little pouch like this. Now, I actually don't use baby bags. Like, I use a big handbag and then I use pouches like this. I don't really use the pouches and the pockets designed in a baby bag. I don't find them like super practical for me. I just prefer to have a pouch. My mom actually made me this, but you can get these anywhere. You can even use a makeup bag. Like, like use anything this size. Okay, this one is currently full of my postpartum needs because I'm packing it in my hospital bag, which is another video I am filming. Usually this just has wipes, nappy cream and nappies. And then I'll pack a spare pair of clothes or like spare onesies and burp cloths separately in my bag. But I just think having a pouch like this that is dedicated to nappies and wipes, for me, it's a lot more practical than having a baby bag. I don't know, like test it for yourself. But just as our life evolved and Fox's needs evolved, Involved, I used this so much more than a baby travel bag. Now, you guys have heard me talk about this so many times, but keeping it super short and sweet, these are the burp cloths I'll be using. It's basically just like, kind of like an oversized face towel. I think I got these from Big W. I can't be too sure. My mum got them for me and I do plan on getting more, but I love these ones because they're the perfect size where you can chuck it over your shoulder, burp your baby, wipe them up, wipe yourself. I think anything smaller than this for me is not practical as a burp cloth. Honestly, don't get bougie burp cloths because they just get ruined. Next up is a product I thought I would need. With my first pregnancy, everyone told me breastfeeding, your nipples leak and all that kind of stuff. I didn't realize how much your nipples truly leak. And with my first pregnancy and like my first newborn experience, I had both reusable nipple pads and disposable. I did not use the disposables at all. Like I think I used them once and I just didn't find them absorbent enough. Honestly, I just felt bad because I was going through so many. I have so many because at one time I have like six of these in the wash. Seriously, if you are breastfeeding, you leak so much more than you think, especially when you're sleeping, like you'll wake up in the middle of the night and your shirt will be wet. So definitely stock up on these. I feel like this isn't even excessive. You want this much. Now look, I pride myself on being really organized and this is the one product I don't have because it's sold out like everywhere. Obviously you will need a way to bath your baby. Now with my first newborn experience, we were in an apartment, so I didn't have like an oversized sink or anything like that. So we ended up buying a baby bath like this. Now, if this is your only option, if you don't have an oversized sink, like a big laundry sink, then you will probably have to go for something like this. But I just found it so impractical. It was so heavy once it was full with water. And while it does have a plug down the bottom, it's really hard to place it in a place where you can just like unplug it and the water rushes out. We just had to carry it around with water in it. It was super heavy, super impractical, and also not easy to store because it doesn't bundle up. So this time I'm getting a seat like 
like this. There are so many different options you can get, but just for our family, I will be using the Angel Care mesh seat and I plan on putting that in our kitchen sink. Oh, I love this one. This is body wraps and carriers. So I've kind of bundled all of this up into like one tip or like one number. Every baby is different. Every mother is different. I love baby carrying. So I've just brought up here a bunch of my faves. So number one, especially for newborns, I love jersey wrap carriers. There are so many different brands of this. I have Moby. This one is Free Rider, I think. They're much longer than you think. Like they just never end. So there definitely is a technique to wrapping them properly. But the reason I like this one is I just found it really comfortable. It's a bit fiddly to get on at first, but you can leave it on pretty much all day and just slip your baby in and out. So this is a really comfortable option for home. Next up, I can't say if I love this one, but what I found was missing in my first newborn experience is I only had the jersey option, which is great for home, or this more bulky hiking option, which we'll get to in a second. I wanted something that was quick, but still lightweight and not as like intense as this one. So again, I can't say if I'm going to love this one, but I like having a carrier that that's kind of in the middle of like both a jersey carrier where it's comfortable, lightweight lifestyle, but it's a bit more sturdy, kind of like an ergo baby. So I got this one from Mama Etc. And it kind of has elements of both carriers. Kind of flick it around like that. You loop it through the holes and you tie it up and your baby sits in the pouch. This one for me is just really quick, really lightweight. And I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one. Now I have talked about this on YouTube before. You guys know I love the Ergo Baby pouch. We use this a lot when we travel, like we went to Hawaii and went on hikes with Fox and this will hold them like I don't know the exact age but Fox was pretty heavy and we were hiking with this so this one is pretty bulky really sturdy but like I said if you're going to walk up to the shops or like go on a hike or if you're just like a super active person you might get a lot of use out of this one for me it's definitely not for around the house because it's just too bulky but I really like it for like active days moving on <laughs> to something that isn't necessarily a newborn essential but it's essential for us as mothers so today's sponsor of the video is one of my absolute favorite brands on the planet, Esme Skin Minerals. You guys know I have been loving and using their products for a few years now. I think this is my holy grail product. I have gone through so many bottles of this because it is my ride or die. I have used this cleanser more than I've used any other cleanser on the planet. This one is the probiotic, pro, I always say that really bad. Probiotic, probiotic. I feel like I say it like a bogan, probiotic, <laughs> probiotic. Probiotic. <laughs> Esme Skin Minerals Probiotic Skin Milk Cleanser. Now, I used to think I had oily skin because I had acne prone skin, but now I'm more combination dry. And I think I always have been. I think I was just a little bit confused by my skin because it was so acne prone. And I feel like when you are dealing with congestion and acne, you tell yourself, oh, I must have oily skin. But my skin is yeah, combination dry. I am acne prone. And at the moment being pregnant, I am extra dry and I have pigmentation. Can't really tell because because I have a full face of makeup, but you'll see me getting it off here. So as I said, the probiotic milk cleanser is my fave. I use it morning and night. I also love their rose and bamboo exfoliant. Like I don't have overly sensitive skin, but in pregnancy, I definitely do. And this one is a really nice gentle exfoliant that is just going to get rid of any dead skin cells on the surface. So I've been using that roughly like two times a week. And then you guys know, I love the hyaluronic serum. Actually, before we get to that, the spray, every girl in our office has this on their desk and like when we need a spritz or like when we need a refresher, we like spritz it on our face. So I love it. It smells like cucumber and like a fruit salad. It's just really nice and refreshing. And then after that, once my skin is a little bit damp, I will go in with the hyaluronic serum. I have the huge bottle of this because I use and abuse this product. I use a lot. Now I've said this numerous times, but I do like to apply this product onto damp skin as it penetrates the skin better and it does not lead to trans epidermal water loss. And then I like to lock all that moisture in. You can use this really sparingly. It is a light lightweight oil, but a little goes a long way. This is the 24 karat gold nourishing oil. So you just want to shake it up and add a few drops to your skin. I'm just going in with the eye cream here because it has like, what's that, what's that product called? It's like iridescent, holographic. It reminds me of like a holographic bag. It has like this iridescent kind of pearl look to it. And it just makes your under eyes look like super vibrant and like alive. And as a newborn mom, 
you're gonna need that, let me tell you. So as I mentioned, my favorite product of theirs is the cleanser and Esme know this themselves. So they've been nice enough to offer you guys a free cleanser, whether it's this one or any of their six, when you spend over $60. All you have to do is enter the code SDGIFT and it's valid up until the 6th of March. So if you want a free full-size cleanser, just spend over $60 anywhere on the website and you can get one of these or any of the six on their website. So a huge thank you to Esme Skin Minerals for sponsoring today's video. I really hope you guys can get your hands on a free cleanser and enjoy the product as much as I do. But without further ado, let's get back into newborn essentials. When I tell you your newborn needs a lot of layers, they need a lot of layers. Like when your baby spits up or has a poo explosion or just like you can, you can even spill stuff on your baby. Like we've all done it. You can never ever have enough singlets. Like look how cute. So this one is a three zero, which isn't even the smallest size I have. Oh, this one isn't actually a singlet. I lied. I call this one a leotard. I, it definitely is because of my dance background, but like it's just the easiest way to explain it. Like I get it. It's a onesie, but to me, a onesie is like long pants and long arms. So I call this like a singlet leotard. Like it's a leotard. Okay. So I love these. I find these super practical. I do love singlets. Obviously this is like a plain singlet with like an open bottom. And this one is a singlet onesie or a singlet leotard. Pros of this one, super easy to get on and off and they're affordable. This one is really practical because it doesn't roll up. Sometimes you'll change your baby and realize that the singlet is like up around their nipples, not ideal. So I really like these ones. And for colder days, you want to get some long sleeve ones like this. I maybe have like five each of these because while your baby grows rapidly, like they're not in four zeros for very long or three zeros for very long, you're gonna do a lot of laundry. Well, I did anyway with my newborn. Again, not an essential, but for me, for me, yeah, yeah, it is an essential for sure. So I had one baby swing. I referenced this in the video I made of products I won't be using with this newborn. I still have it. And if this baby loves it, great, but Fox hated it. And all of my friends who have children, like their kids hate it too. So I, whatever, take from that what you will. So this time I did a lot of research into what chill out zone my baby could chill in. I ended up going for this baby Beyond from my research and just from asking my friends. I think it is one of the most popular on the market. First of all, it's pretty compact. Like it doesn't take up a huge amount of room in your house. I like the idea of this one because it was all about reaction. So as your baby kind of bounces, this will bounce. So your baby kind of learns like with my movement, this will bounce. But this one had really great reviews. My friends loved it. There are a lot of days where it's just you and your newborn and sometimes you need to pee, you need to poop. When you want to have a shower, you need somewhere to put your baby. When they're a little bit older, I think they'll really enjoy this. Okay, next up is another breastfeeding product. I'm going to be pretty short and sweet on this one. So when you're feeding, say on the left side, your right boob will naturally most of the time let out a little bit of milk. And for some women that is a lot of milk, for some women it's just a little trickle. What I ended up doing was catching the letdown in my hucker. So you basically squeeze it together, attach it to your boob and the natural suction will help suck the milk out. If you want to catch your letdown on either side, it is a really good option. I found it really user friendly. So the first one I got with Fox came with this little flower stopper, which I found really helpful. But my new one actually came with a proper lid. So these didn't even exist when I had Fox. I don't think a hucker is totally essential, but um, if you do want to catch your letdown, then this is a really good option. Listen to my words. Don't reference my prop. We'll talk about her in a second. She's, she's got some problems, okay? You definitely want a lamp for nighttime. I recommend a lamp with a foot switch that you can turn on with your foot and something that is a warm light. Now that is going to come down to the globe that you pick. So pick a globe that's more like orangey warm toned because in the middle of the night when you change your baby or when you feed, you wanna have a little bit of light. So you can have like a little table light if you want. This is what I thought I was buying. This is what I got, okay? I need to address this in a vlog because people are like, oh, you just have to flip it upside down. Like, no. This is the only way it goes on and the lamp. Anyway, I'm not gonna address this in this video because it's gonna get aggressive. I'm working on getting her a refund. Um, it's not going very well, but anyway. You wanna get a lamp so that in the middle of the night, you're not fully waking yourself up with like bright light. You're not waking your partner up. You're not waking your baby up. You just want enough light that you can maneuver around, see what you need to see. And I just recommend getting a lamp that has a foot switch because if you've got your hands full with the baby, you can flip it on and off. If you want to get into this with me, if you want to have an argument, next vlog, I will, I'll debunk this and how I'm not wrong and it's, it's faulty. 
okay? We have to move on because my blood's boiling. You don't need a onesie, but I would highly recommend having a lot of onesies on hand. But this tip is don't go overboard with the four zeros. So the quadruple zeros, most of us have no idea how big our baby's going to be. So I think as long as you have like two four zeros or like two three zeros or maybe even one, you can always dress them in this and assess, okay, is this the right size? And then go out and get more. Don't feel like you need to prep your entire nursery with like seven four zero onesies. So two of my best friends are actually pregnant for the first time and one of the main questions they've asked me is am I going to wrap my baby when they sleep or am I going to use a sleeping bag? Now this is totally up to you and your baby. I think I will swaddle him for the first 12 weeks. That worked really well for Fox, myself and Kurt and then he will graduate to a sleeping bag. These are incredible. My favorite brand is Ergo Pouch Australia. These are really good because you can zip it from the bottom and you can also zip it from the top. When you purchase a pouch, it will tell you kind of what your baby should be wearing underneath the pouch and at what room temperature. So it kind of comes with this table. I'm sure I can find it on Google here. And it says, if your room is 20 degrees, put your baby in this and put them in TOG 2. So each of them have a different TOG. This is TOG 1. It basically just means like how warm Warm it is. So in summer you might have a 0.5 tog, whereas in winter you're going to have a really fluffy, cozy 2.0 tog. So these are awesome and they are adaptable. So as your baby grows, you can unclick these little holes here and their arms can come out. So this is nice and adaptable for their growing bodies. Now this is the product I mentioned before. You could probably just have one or the other. I'm honestly not too sure how young they can be in this. I'll have to look that up, but I used this a lot. There are so many on the market now. This is a Docatot, but I know there are like baby lounges. Honestly, go online and you'll find either this one or something similar. It's just like a chill sleeping area for you to move around the house. Now, I'm not sure about the rules in other places, but in Australia, I don't think this is like SID safe. So you have to supervise them when they're sleeping just because of the bumpers. So this is for supervised sleep only. I believe. Well, that's how I do it anyway. But honestly, if you just want to like chill out and watch TV, you can just put this next to you on the lounge. I can't be bothered to run downstairs and get it. But this is the thermometer we have. You definitely want a baby thermometer when you're a first time mum or a first time parent. You are constantly like, um, is my baby okay? Like, are they breathing? So this is the thermometer we use and it just goes in their ear, it has a button. We still use it for Fox. We actually use it for us. It's amazing. It's not like an under the tongue one. Short and sweet, get a baby thermometer. Okay, quickly going back to our onesies. I kind of touched on this in my what I'm not using with this newborn video and how I hate, I hate buttons in a onesie. Zippers are just so practical, but even more practical than a zipper is a double zipper. So you want to get a onesie that zips from the bottom and the top. I found it so much easier to just change them from the bottom, especially if it's cold, like you want to keep them warm and their arms warm. So convenient. I have a love-hate relationship with these. What I hate is they are battery operated. So if you have this in their nursery and they were like, this is a white noise machine, okay? It sounds like this. Babies love it. I love it. Like I sleep with white noise now, which I'll explain in a second. But the reason I hate this in a nursery is because it is battery operated, which means the batteries die. And if your baby is relying on this sound, this soothing atmosphere environment to fall asleep, and then all of a sudden they wake up traumatized, screaming, it's not fun for anyone. These are really good for a pram or like for travel, but an even better one for their nursery and for your house while you have like access to power, like a plug. I think this one's called Glow Dreaming. I'm gonna buy another one of these because this is what we use for Fox at the moment. And I currently sleep with it as well. I love the sound of white noise now. This one has the white noise. You can also make it different colors like red and green. Red apparently emulates the womb, so it makes them feel cozy and comfortable. You can change the volume, you can make it a timer, and this one is also like a diffuser. If there's one newborn product I really enjoy purchasing, it's baby blankets. This is the perfect newborn blanket for me. So I'll show you how big it is. Like that. 
This one is from Seekaboo and it is 100% cotton. So it's just a knitted blanket. It's really, really soft. Basically, you want these for your pram and to wrap around your baby and you will use this until they're a toddler. You don't want anything too bulky because it just is gonna fall out of the pram. There is nothing more annoying than getting a blanket stuck in the wheels of your pram. So you wanna get something nice and light and warm, but you wanna be able to tuck it in and you're just gonna use these so much. So like I said, it's my second baby. So I feel like I've done the hard yards. I've made my mistakes. I got a rocking chair with Fox. I got a pretty affordable one. I got one from Audi. I got this one. It's still in the nursery. I'm gonna give it away for free. If you have a newborn who requires milk, of any sort, formula or boob, you will spend a lot of time in this chair. Let me give you some tips of what chair you wanna have in your nursery. First of all, I know you might want a chair like this, okay? This is from Jardin and it comes in a single chair. It's bougie, it looks sick. But what is not sick, you're so tired. You're sleep deprived, you're feeding your baby, you wanna relax your head, you can't. Don't get a cool looking chair that has like a low back. I'm telling you, when you feed, you wanna do this. Every mom out there is nodding their head, saying, mm-hmm, preach it, Sarah. You wanna lay your head back, okay? So get something with a high back. This is the Il Tuto. Felix chair, it is not cheap. It is an investment, but it was something I was very happy to invest in. It is the chair of all chairs. It is so comfortable. When your baby's asleep, sometimes you are bound to the chair or like you're just tired and you sit on the chair with your baby for like an hour. This, life changing, life changing. Again, not an essential, but if you trust me, <laughs> then I would invest in a good, rocking chair. A more affordable one that I know a lot of my friends love is the one from Freedom. This one here, every one of my friends who has it loves it. Now this may be common knowledge, but maybe not. You want at least two mattress protectors for your bassinet or your cot or wherever your baby is sleeping. So I've got two for mine. So that's short and sweet. Have two because one's gonna be in the wash and one's gonna be in your cot in the bassinet. Now there are so many balms, creams, products for like newborn life or even like postnatal life. There was so many products and creams that I bought in anticipation that I never ended up using. But one you will definitely wanna have your hands on is a good nappy cream. I I talk about this one all the time. This one is the Waleda Waleda. I still don't know the proper way to say it. The Calendula Nappy Change Cream. This is for sure my ride or die nappy cream. I always gravitate to the more natural ones. Like I really like zinc based creams and this was our favorite. It never broke him out. It never gave him a rash. I use it on my dermatitis. Yeah, I have like six of these at the moment because we just go through it like crazy. Okay, this next product, I need to go in Fox's room because he stole it. This is the hard thing. Like I buy all these things for our newborn and Fox gets really excited and goes, it's mine, it's Fox's. So it's in Fox's room. Let me just grab it. This is a play mat. I'll just come down here so you can kind of see the texture. This was recommended to me by one of my good friends, Ellie. Thank you, Ellie. I don't remember the exact brand. I'll put it up here. Is it like Harlow? But it's double-sided. So this is side number one and side number two. And they have a bunch of different options in like different colors, whether you want like blue, sage, pink, but I really like the neutral tones. I never had a play mat like this with Fox. I just had like a cushiony rug. I still love it. But what I found was I was always chucking it in the wash. And because it was like a French linen it was hand wash only or like delicate wash only doing that every day is so impractical because you can't like throw the play mat in the wash with like other things you have to do it by itself and I just like it's just not practical for me so this one you can just wipe clean your baby vomits wipe it clean poo explosion wipe it clean best mum recommendation thus far honestly it would just be rude to not end the vlog here like I live here now did everyone have like a grandpa or like an uncle that just like had a chair they always sat on. It's gonna be me. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope especially if you're a first time mom, it has helped kind of unpack different things that you might want or different things you might need. If you have any specific questions about any of the products or items I showed, just put it in the comments below and I will get back to as many people as I can. If you want a dedicated video on any of the products, then I'm more than happy to do that for you. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like because it really, really supports my channel and I appreciate every single one of you who always like my videos. Make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single week. I'll see you guys in my next video, which is...
our holiday. I don't even, we haven't been away in like, for, it feels like forever. Like just with the whole way the world has been, we've been cooped up inside, unable to travel. So we are going away tomorrow and I'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing for you guys. So unfortunately I can't bring my chair, but I'll be back on her in a week. 